Namaste everyone, I am Surabhi Shekhar from India Yoga and welcome to India Yoga Online Learning. Today we are going to learn a set of yoga asanas to improve fertility in women. These asanas are more mainly focused on relieving stress, relaxing all the muscles in the body and improving blood circulation around the reproductive area and to open up the hips. And before we get started with the asana practice, please remember to take these asanas very easy as per your own comfortable limit. And if you have any pre-existing health conditions, please consult your doctor before practicing. Now let's begin with some waist rotation. Take your feet hip width apart, palms on your waist while breathing naturally deep and long. Push your hip towards the right, then to the back, to the left and front. Keep going. Two, three, feel the movement. Four and five. Reverse five. Four. Three, two, and one. Slowly come back to the center and bring your legs together. We'll go for some forward and backward bending. Take your feet hip width apart again, palms on the thighs. Gently bend your knees, tilt your pelvis, and raise your hands all the way up. Upper arms coming in line with the ear and lean back as per your comfort exhale gently lengthen the spine go all the way down inhale back up exhale inhale make sure there's no pressure in the lower back exhale inhale Exhale, pull the belly, inhale, exhale, slowly bring your hands in front, gently roll up and release. We'll go for some more movements of the hip, take your feet at least three feet distance apart hands by the shoulder take your palms to the chest facing down we'll go for some spinal twists here lengthen the spine with an inhalation while exhaling open the right arm twist from the upper body inhale back exhale to the left inhale ground the hip exhale Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and inhale slowly come back to the center. Take your palms on the waist. We'll go for some Parivrita Trikonasana breathing. Gently lengthen the spine with an inhalation while exhaling. Lean forward. If you're comfortable, place your palms in front. Shoulders and wrists in one line. Maintaining the length in the spine. Bring your left palm to the center. Deep inhalation while exhaling. Twist to the right. Open the chest. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, if you're not comfortable placing the palms on the mat, take your palms in the cup shape and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, inhale and come back to the center. Take your palms on the waist, 
and slowly inhale and come back all the way up take your hands in uthita hasta we we'll go for trikonasana turn your right foot out 90 degree left foot slightly in make sure that the heels are in one line turn your palms to the front lengthen the spine pull the belly and while exhaling gently lean to the right make sure there's no pressure on the knees go as per your comfort if you are comfortable look all the way up towards the left thumb deep and long breaths breathing through the chest inhale and slowly back to the center uthita hasta turn your right foot in we'll do the same on the left side turn your left foot out 90 degree turn the palms towards the front again inhale lengthen the spine while exhaling lean to the left again breathe here deep and long breaths no tension around the shoulder or neck keep them relaxed go as per your comfort don't force and inhale and slowly come back to the center uthita hasta now we'll go for a variation of parivrta parshva konasana turn your right foot out left foot slightly inward turn the hip towards the right and take your hands on the waist gently drop the left knee down make sure that the right knee and ankle are in one line lengthen the spine take your left hand left arm pit over the right knee twist take your palms in namaskara mudra and twist release the toes at the back if you are comfortable and breathe here now if you are still comfortable here tuck the toes and lift the left knee off the mat to work a little bit more on the legs make sure that you pull the belly breathe deep and long here now gently inhale and slowly come back to uthita hasta we'll do the same on the other side turn your left foot out turn the hip towards the left again drop the right knee down and twist take your right arm pit over the left knee palms in namaskara mudra and breathe twist and take a few deep and long breaths here if you are comfortable release the toes make sure that you don't have any pressure on the right knee if you are still comfortable here you can tuck the toes and lift the knee off the mat as well and breathe here notice that work on the thighs and slowly inhale and come back to uthita hasta and release to tadasana here come to seated position go for some seated asanas from here release the legs forward to dandasana hands by the side lengthen the spine pull the belly in from here we'll go for janushirasana with maha mudra bend your right leg place the right foot inside of the left thigh inhale take your hands in urdhva hasta pull the belly and while exhaling gently lean forward keep maintaining the length in the spine and grab your feet with both the hands from here take a deep inhalation and exhale long let's practice maha mudra here take a deep inhalation and exhale long while exhaling gently pull the belly in words as much as you can drop the chin and hold your breath as per your comfort up slowly lift the chin up release the abdomen we'll go for one more round inhale deeply exhale long pull the belly drop the chin hold your breath make sure that you engage all the pelvic floor muscles 
gently release take your hands all the way up to urdhva hasta release the hand and we'll go for bharat dhyasana twist from here take your right foot place it on the left thigh as close as possible to the hip bend the left knee and point the toes to the back lengthen the spine place your right palm behind the back left palm on the right knee inhale lengthen up while exhaling twist pull the belly as per your comfort now if you're still comfortable take your right hand all the way back and grab your big toe make sure that you don't force or rush into the asana breathing deep and long here inhale slowly come back and release the hands release the left leg and then your right leg back to dandasana we'll repeat the same on the left side bend your left leg place your left foot inside of the right leg now inhale take both the hands all the way up urdhva hasta exhale take your palms on the right foot now we'll apply maha mudra here again inhale deeply exhale long pull the belly drop the chin hold the breath slowly lift the chin up release the abdomen inhale again exhale long drop the chin hold the breath as per your comfort notice the engagement in the abdominal organs gently release take your hands all the way up and gently release the hands we'll go for bharat dhwajasana twist again from here place the left foot on the right thigh closer to the right hip bone bend the right leg take it back toes pointing towards the back place your right palm on the left knee left hand behind the back inhale lengthen the spine exhale and twist look over your left shoulder if you're still comfortable wrap your hands and grab your left big toe breathe deep and long inhale slowly release release the left leg release the right leg back to dandasana i will go for baddha konasana from here bend both the legs bring the feet together wrap your palms around the toes inhale lengthen the spine while exhaling pull the belly and lean forward as per your comfort don't force or rush notice that the rotation comes from the hip you are maintaining the length in the spine if you are comfortable you can go all the way down and drop the chin on the mat inhale and slowly come back up Take your palms under the knees and release the legs out 45 degrees on each side for Upavishta Konasana. Hands next to the hip, pulling the belly in, lengthening the spine. Feet active, toes pointing up towards the roof. Now, if you're comfortable, place your palms in front of you. Walk your hands forward and go down as per your comfort. With every inhalation try to lengthen the spine and with every exhalation gently rotate from the hip without compromising on the spinal length. You can go all the way down, drop the chin and the chest on the mat as well. But don't force. Make sure that the legs are active. slowly inhale and walk your hands back take your palms under the knees and gently release the leg 
slowly lie down on the back we we'll go for setu bandhasana hands by the side of the body palms facing down feet hip width apart firmly grounded without putting any pressure on the neck or shoulder press the feet shift the body weight towards the leg inhale and lift the hip off the mat exhale down inhale exhale inhale exhale this time we're going to hold it there inhale and lift up now slowly roll the shoulders if you're still comfortable take your palms and interlace the fingers open the chest try to shift the body weight towards the leg if you're comfortable here we'll try and go for viparita karani take your palms under the hip supporting the lower back elbows closer to the body bring your legs together once you're stable and you feel comfortable without putting any pressure on the elbow inhale and take the right leg all the way up to 90 degrees breathing deep and long here exhale release the right leg take your left foot off now if you're still comfortable here you can go all the way up bringing your a right leg up as well be very careful while dismounting from the asana gently bend the knees and slowly drop the leg one after the other and release the hands and gently release the legs and here we'll go for supta baddha konasana bend both the legs bring your feet together place your right palm above the navel left palm below the navel and eyes gently closed completely release and relax the body notice the sensation throughout the body the relaxation and the circulation around the hip region bring your breathing back to normal slowly release the hands take your palms under the knees and gently bring the knees together gently open the eyes and inhale slowly come up to any comfortable seated meditative posture thank you so much for practicing with me today i hope you enjoyed the class and learned something remember expectations comes with a lot of stress so try not to expect anything surrender yourself to the practice just relax and go with the flow remember to learn right practice consistently and experience happiness thank you and see you in the next video